What's up, guys? We're hanging out in the Young Hollywood studio with Christian Navarro. Hey, how's it going? Hi, thank you for having me. You just went to Argentina, too, recently, didn't you? Yes. So what was that like? I didn't want to come back. I, I think everyone was nervous because I fell in love out there. I mean, with everyone, with the people, the culture, um, everything. Yeah, I hear it's beautiful. It and warm really is. And... Now, I saw you tweeted Haley Baldwin. Was she on the plane <laughs> on the... <laughs> I saw you tweeted her, you like, met you on the plane, I'm fanning out right now, tell me about this. Mm, so met would, is a loose, loose term. Um, no, I did meet her, I got to speak with her briefly, but I was stuttering the entire time and uh, <laughs> trying to catch my breath. She's gorgeous. So gorgeous. I was taken aback, I think, that's all, but she was very kind. Okay, <clears throat> I want to ask you about your tattoo. Which one? I follow you on Instagram, I saw you got a tattoo of a lion. Yeah. On your arm. Can I can I check it out? Check out the. I'd end? have to take all the clothes off. Oh, okay. You don't show it on the show either, it's a do you? Show. Uh, <laughs> you have to take all the, I thought it was on your arm. I'm sorry. No, it's here. But it's, I got, a, right I got a long sleeve uh, <laughs> uh, shirt on. Um, most of my tattoos are utilized on the show because it's easier than covering all of them up. But uh, this one, they don't even know about this. They'll probably find this one out. Uh, well, no, everyone's got social media, so they probably know. And yeah. I, I hope they're okay with it. And why a lion? Is it because you're a Leo? I'm a Leo, but also uh, I've always had an affinity for lions. I a great respect for them. I identify with them. I think they're. Beautiful. Tell me about your puppy. She was just here a little bit ago. She's in the next room probably crying because she's not <laughs> with us. Um, her name is Daenerys and I adopted her maybe eight months ago while we were filming season two. I was a little lonely out there uh, and uh, rather than get into trouble I adopted a dog. And I didn't, so the story behind her is I didn't go to get her first. I went to go get this border collie that I was really in love with. Oh, but, really? Yeah, but they're so big and we travel so much for work and things. I just felt uncomfortable getting a bigger dog. And as sure. I was leaving the Humane Society, uh, she was at the door. She was like the last one there. She put her paw on the, on the glass and the gentleman who was helping me asked if I wanted to play with him because usually you, and I said, no, nope, wrap her up. She's coming home with me and that was it. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. <laughs> I love her, that's so cute. Oh, that's so lovable. I love lovable. her very much. She makes my days infinitely better. Now, what's it like on set? I know it's a very serious show. You're coming a very serious topic. How do you guys keep it light when you stop rolling and kind of try and keep it positive? We're always, uh, luckily everyone, I think I'm the least funny in this cast. Uh, I have a serious <laughs> air about me, but these people are hilarious. Alicia Chabot particularly makes me laugh. Uh, sometimes she'll just shoot a look from across the room and I, I can't contain myself. <laughs> um, Dylan is just hilarious and uh, every time I work with him it's usually a really dark scene. He just makes me laugh. He's the same. He'll, he can shoot me a look and I just die laughing. And we, we, you know, we really are Everyone you will interview from our show will say the same thing. Uh, we're family now, and we, it pretty immediately that happened organically, and uh, so we take care of each other really well. And it's good you have a serious air about you, though, because you seem perfect for this character. You're always in a leather jacket, okay. coming out of the shadows it's with the hot tapes. In that leather jacket, but yeah, uh, the role. I'm lucky, man. Brian Yorkie and the writing staff. There's not many roles like this on TV. He's very multifaceted and complex and multidimensional, and. Uh, I'm just lucky that I get to go along for the ride. It's been a pleasure exploring the different aspects of this guy who doesn't fit into any mold. Now, I love Kate Walsh in this show. What's it like working with her? It's a masterclass. It's a masterclass. I think uh, she and I have become friends, and there's just something special. Um, we have something special when we work together, I believe, and I've learned so much ab about the art and, and acting itself, but also about the business and how to relate to people and deal with people and, and professionalism. And uh, she really is the standard bearer on our show and, in, and a role model for women in the business generally. And this is the first time too that you've reprised a role, right? Yes. So what's that like to come back and play the same character and reprise a role? Uh, it's a different challenge because you have to, you know, you have to, there's continuity. So you have to be true to the performance you gave in the first season and then build and expand on the universe and the character. So it's challenging, but like it's the stuff as an actor you want. You want to bite into this and, and really sink into a character and get to explore it. So. It's been, like I said, a challenge, but a privilege. Well, thank you so much. It was great to have you here. I'll let you get back to your puppy now. Thank you. I'm sure she's missing me. I miss her. Yeah, so adorable. Thanks again. Thank you.